for all the technology that's being put into bicycles these days with space age materials for frames and uh, the like, still you have to shift the gears. Well, not anymore, say the folks at New Vinci. And uh, Avellino, tell us a little bit about what New Vinci has created and how it all works. Sure. Uh, so what we have here and what we're showing is our new New Vinci N360. Um, so it's our newest version of a what they call a continuously variable transmission. Um, so that means between its lowest uh, ratio and its highest ratio, it actually has an infinite number of gears. Um, so it all happens here in the rear. Uh, this is where instead of actually having gears or gear teeth, we actually have a set of six rotating spheres that you're able to tilt back and forth. You know, you can kind of imagine that on a cassette, um, if you just painted a clear slope between that highest, highest cog and that smallest one, basically what we're able to do is give you a cog that has every size in between to the infinitely small. So what it really translates into is that when you ride the bike, it feels incredibly different and it's very, very smooth. So as you ride it, um, just sort of tweaking it uh, gets you to a gradually easier ratio or gradually harder. And is that a difficult transition for folks who are, you know, used to, you know, shifting and hearing that uh, resounding click or clunk uh, as as a as a gear comes into yeah, into mode? There's definitely some differences when you talk about a newbie rider hopping on New Vinci for the first time and an enthusiast. Um, but definitely everybody who's uh, ridden stuff that's different from Campy to Shimano and appreciates, you know, those subtle differences. Getting on this can really transform the way that you're able to feel the road. So even people who are experienced, you know, get on this and say, man, this is unlike, you know, anything I've, you know, ridden before. You know, it's not for every bike. It's, you know, you're not going to see us on racing, competition, and that sort of bikes. Um, but, you know, for your everyday commuter, the A to B sort of bike, a fitness flat bar road bike, um, we're showing it on some 29ers. Um, so some guys at Weekend Warriors who want one bike to do everything, um, this is a very good answer. It's a super low maintenance uh, because everything is self-contained and because it's not indexed. There's no fine tweaking that you have to do of the shifter. Um, so it's a, a bike that you can hop on and it's ready to go. And how much weight does it add to, to a bike? Um, so if you consider uh, you know, extra chain rings in the front, cassette, you know, a set of shifters, you're probably looking at about a two and a half to three pound increase. Mm -hmm. That's really, that's really not bad. But, you know, as you said, for the elite racer, right. uh, where every ounce counts, right, uh, exactly. it's not what they're looking yeah, for. And, and again, you know, uh, we think that even those riders, you know, you got a lot of uh, different bikes in the stable. So we think that there's quite a few that New Vinci is well suited for. And are you selling this sort of as a kit, or are you working with uh, other bike partners to, uh, you know, sell a full package? So here in the United States, uh, Breezer will be showing uh, the Uptown Infinity. Um, so that's going to be a, a real nice commuter bike. Um, Tony Ellsworth will be showing it later this year on some hardtail uh, 26 and 29ers. Um, but it is going to be available in an aftermarket version as well. So you could go to just about any bicycle shop and uh, have them retrofit a bike. All right. Well, if people want more info on this, uh, where do they go? Uh, Nuvinci.com. Easy enough. Thanks, right. Avellino. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.